listen to the chain. I can actually feel it in the pedals. It's horrible. Plus I got some rust spots on the chain. It's pretty annoying. So yeah, dropping dropping the gear ratio a bit and uh, hopefully get a gold chain as well. I think that look cool on Christina. She likes playing. boys and girls, howler again, on a lovely Friday afternoon, well lovely, it's not raining, so that's lovely in Belgium, I'm feeling good, it's about ready for the weekend, no more work for me, riding home, I'm gonna chill, play some GTA 5 online, that shit is epic, how epic is that game, man, dude, for real, I love it. Not really got a topic lined up for today, but I got the gear uh, gear set, uh, chains, chain and gears in in place. Got new sprocket on, a nice gold chain. Been test riding it for a few days now. It seems to hold up. But I was a bit scared at first. Ooh, gold wing. I was a bit scared at first um, because it's a riveted Masterlink, and I I bought like a rivet kit so I could do it myself. I have done it myself, and as you can see, she's still riding. 150 kilometers in, she's still riding. So, I reckon it's holding. I don't see no difference um, now than compared to um, when I just had it installed. So, nothing shifted, nothing moved, apparently. So, I think it's a good one. I've been doing some hard pulls on it, and it seems to hold up nicely. I haven't tried any wheelies yet, but um, should be easier right now with the, the what's it, one down, one up. I always think it's the opposite of, uh, around. I always want to say one up, one down, but it's one down, one up. So that's 1546. Okay. Right, so my, my review as of now few days in and 150 kilometers in on the new chain set it's a DID chain with JT sprockets steel sprockets the rear one is um, coated in chrome I believe because it's um, very very shiny and uh, I probably mentioned it before but I think it has to do with um, uh, durability probably just a coating to make it more durable but it makes it shine as a mofo so good things about it is you get more revs you get more well more ex accessible power the bike doesn't have more power but it puts it to the road quicker if that makes sense um, another upside well acceleration in general maybe show worthiness because you're doing more revs like in the city you could do a hard hard pull and rev it up real high yeah. I like a short hard pull and rev it up real high without actually going all that fast downsides of the chain set of this ooh, look at that or one that's nice so downsides of the new gearing is higher revs so higher f well um, less efficient fuel economy you use more fuel to go the same distance because you rev it higher also on the highway it's kind of annoying to be almost a thousand rpm higher and uh, on my bike that's like I think 7,000 is about 120 kilometers an hour now the speed limit and that's the, the, the point where you get like a weird vibration on my left knee and <laughs> the tank starts vibrating there. So that's, that's a bit of annoying but I just need to drop my speed a little bit or increase it a little bit for that to be gone. So I can, I can actually use that as a guide to I'm going too fast or I'm going too slow. Or I'm going just right. Um, 
another downside is um, the speedo <laughs> and this is something I knew but I wasn't expecting it to be this much of a difference the speedo usually your actual correct speed your physical correct speed is less than what your speedo tells you you're doing so let's say on the speedo you do a hundred kilometers an hour as a base let's, let's take that with the standard gearing I was only doing um, physical speed like actual physical real speed was somewhere around 93 maybe 92 so that's an 8% difference now with this chain kit on um, because the speedo gets the signal from the uh, drive shaft of the gearbox so the front pinion wheel that's doing the same revs because nothing changed in the gearbox but the rear wheel isn't moving as fast as it was before on the usual on the normal uh, standard gearing so with this gearing it, it turns over slower hence why you need to do more revs so at 100 kilometers an hour on the uh, speedo now I only do about 86 kilometers an hour instead of 92 that's a 14% difference which is huge <laughs> 